this whole it's my first first time being on with you guys man i really appreciate you letting me into your world um i'm an asshole i like to explain my point of view through the point of views of an asshole um some of you might agree some of you might not agree but just hear me out I can um, explain everything that I'm going to say. I go through a whole list of topics. So um, this is my first one. And I like to speak about experiences that come to me in a certain light. So let's put it like this. Um, what I want to explain today is the cookie versus broccoli theory. Now, um, we're in a restaurant. I'm in there with some friends. Um young lady asked me, Apache, why do men love hoes? I paused for a second because I really want to give a really good answer and I didn't really have it at that point. But I saw two things sitting on the table. I saw dessert and I saw vegetables. So I pointed at the broccoli and I say, look, this broccoli is for the nourishment of our bodies. It is a green vegetable. Um, it helps with digestion. Um, it's going to give your body fuel. It, it, it does everything for your body that it needs. That's a good woman right there. That's, that's what men be needing right there. Them vegetables. Them vegetables are tasty. I mean, they all right. They, you know, they cool. Um, but then um, you got these cookies. Um, let me explain the thing about these here cookies. Now, the cookies ain't shit. They ain't good for you. They have no nutrition or value, but they make you feel fucking fantastic. These other bitches are delicious. So the thing about these cookies is, um, these cookies don't hold you to any. You're not, you're not for the work out after you eat these cookies. Um, these cookies don't hold you to any form of accountability. Um, hold. So why men be needing that broccoli, the good woman in their life, them cookies are tasty, they're not motherfucking, they don't hold you accountable. Um, you can get these cookies with uh, sprinkles and goddamn frosting and all types of crazy. You can't put a lot of stuff on this broccoli. You can put like some cheese or like some salt and pepper, but um, these cookies, these bitches is tasty, they're fucking delicious. That's the best possible way I could explain it. Um, but I always like to give two points of view. So, why I explain why men love hoes, let me go into this other point of view. Um, women actually love hoes, too. Now, I pointed at that broccoli again. I said, look, that broccoli, that's that, that it, it, it's boring. It might not be as interesting. It might not get a spark. You might not get that initial conversation, but it's good for you. That broccoli is loyal. That broccoli ain't going to cheat on you. He's going to do what he need to do. Um, that's a good dude. That's a good man. Um, but on the other hand, you got uh, them cookies, the, the motherfucker name Tyrone, and all types of other old crazy-ass names. Tyrone going to put a tingle in your spine. Tyrone is interesting. Tyrone might tell you to lean your goddamn seat back and get your head in the car. It's great. It's interesting. But he's going to send you home with zero commitment, ma'am. That is the difference uh, from a woman's point of view. So those cookies, they're interesting. But the thing about the cookies is they're going to send you home empty. And everything you need is over here with this broccoli. So... Those are my two interpret uh, two interpretations of how I explained it to her, as to, as opposed to just giving her a generic answer and telling her, "Well, that <laughs> I gave her, I gave it to her like she needed it." So um, that was my best way of explaining it. I'm glad to finally share my viewpoints with the world. Um, this is the best of an asshole. My name is Patrick Godot. Peace.